Hello everyone, my name is John Bestavros and welcome to episode 10, yes, 10, of my Amp 2 Let's Play. In the last episode we looked at the amazing uh, freestyle uh, kind of open New Zealand level, which had all of these really huge jumps and big tricking opportunities, and much more difficult challenges, but nothing absolutely impossible except for Photoshoot 3, which we skipped. Um, New Zealand was an amazing level to play on, so much fun to do it, um, but after that level we have gone through every unique mountain, uh, to play on, uh, up to this point, and now we're going back, looping back around to the mountains that are reused, uh, for a later portion of the game. We're gonna be returning to the very first mountain that we were on, Mount Millicent in Salt Lake City, except this time it will be the middle of the night, uh, and we will have more of the mountain unlocked. Uh, this one's gonna be a pretty fun one. I mean, it is gonna be fun to an extent, obviously. There, there's, there's the challenges, which in this level, in this mountain, are extremely difficult. They are actually the hardest challenges that we've seen in this Let's Play yet. Um, but, hopefully, with the right setup, they are doable. So, let's take a look at the mountain preview. I mean, we've already seen this mountain preview uh, in, the, in the daytime, but this is Millicent. Mount Millicent's the full version of it. Um, I personally like this one actually more than the... Look, I don't like it more than the first one, because I think it actually looks more natural there, but if you want to do a night m mountain correctly with the right skybox, this is how you do it. You don't have this, like, terrifying, like ray of death shining at you, you don't have this, like, weird, like, sunset angle. You have middle of the night with this moon shining directly at you, and it just, it looks great, especially with the, with the big open area that we didn't have earlier when we were at Millicent 1. Millicent Small, I guess. Um, this, this, I think, looks a lot better than the other night levels, and I think it's the best one in the game. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna... So we have, we have the two drop points that we saw in the first episode, Evergreen and Main Street. We're not going to look at those today. We're going to go to Millie, which is the run from the very top. Basically, it's much further up the road, and we're going to see a lot of new tricking opportunities we hadn't previously seen before. Um, <clears throat> so we have uh, slightly smaller uh, scoring requirements, actually compared to New Zealand. I mean, the level one one is bigger, but overall, when you get to, like, the, the third one, the third high score media requirements, it's actually not as big because the level... The, 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 tricking, the tricking opportunities are smaller. So that's something to clarify. And just take a look at what challenges we want to be accomplishing. Uh, a double flip plus a late 180 spin. That one's a pretty nuanced trick. Not sure if we're able to get that. Stomping three landings in a run. A bit, like... Improving from the Mount Hood tricking requirement of stomping two landings in a run. Uh, and then 25,000 style points, 50,000 point combo, and a 15,000 point rail of slide. Those three can all be accomplished in a single trick. And we'll try and find an opportunity to do that later in the run. But those are the tricks we can do. They're not the worst selection of tricks. I mean, there's obviously Mount Hood. But they are pretty uh, specific uh, for what it's worth. But, Yeah. Let's get started with Millicent, the full version. Nice. Uh, sketchy landing, my first one. Alright, start with the media. That's one trick done. And, uh... And there we go. You see, we have these real, like... And then we have this quarter pipe here, which actually I may have screwed up a bit, but... Okay, that's annoying. That's, that's kind of annoying. That's better. That's a lot better. Okay, so... This is not the best run-through we've, we've done, but, uh... There is this little kind of, like, dam here that we can grind on, and there's a media guy on it. So you know what to do if, if you've seen the Mount Buller level. We just grind this all the way to the end.
and we land on it with 89,000 points. Uh, it's very hard to ride this all the way to the end, but it is worth it because... It is worth it because there's a snowman here. So, it's kind of nice to... It seems a little like discoveries that you find later in the mountain. Anyway, that's the higher area of Millicent. It's much harder to kind of... Well, not that hard to do tricks, but... <laughs> that's one thing I love doing in this game, just running over the like, media guys. But, uh... It's harder... The tricking areas are pretty pretty fun to go on. And now here, you, here we see we're actually back at Evergreen. Where it all started. Where we all started. And the thing is, with Evergreen, like... You may have noticed that these le this level looks a lot bigger, even though it's the same. It's basically the same level as the first level, but it feels so much bigger because of the, our improvements in statistics. Like, that's something that's worth mentioning, at least. Let's see if we can do this with a, with a, a butter. Uh, it'd be amazing if we could. Okay, no, not gonna happen. <laughs> Beat the high score requirement already. Let's do this. Trip, trip, trip this. Oh my god. Oh, you got to pay to play. There is another media media guy later on in the level, but uh, I was kind of just playing around here. But yeah, this level is the same size as it was in the original, in the first half of the, the game. M pretty small, but it feels a lot bigger because we have so much more big air, you know, it's just generally, it's, it's, mu it feels much bigger because we are capable of doing much larger tricks. And, uh, let's just finish this one off with a, a lip trick. Because why not? A nose stall. There is one type of lip trick that's actually... Okay. There's one type of lip trick that's actually much more lucrative than the others, and it's a hand plant, but... Not very good at it, so that's the one I showed you. And we beat the high score. Uh, mostly down to some pretty giant grinds. But also a few big uh, air tricks to kind of help us out. And... Well, we missed one of the tricks. I'm not, I can't remember which one it was, but... Uh, earning three skill points. Now, obviously, my strategy for the skill points at this point has been putting them into Big Air or Ollie if it's a regular, you know, free run. And we're going to continue improving the Big Air statistic. Uh, Ollie will be dealt with, I guess, next level. But, um... Next mountain, that is. But, uh... That's going to go to Big Air. And for this level, I think it's very important that we put all of the... We distribute the board skill points that we've required so far between Big Air and Balance. Because the challenges in Millicent Full are very uh, balance heavy. Like, there's a, there's a Lip Trick sponsor. There's a sponsor for Tweaked Rails. There's multiple, like, rail slide photo shoots. There's a... Um, like, there's a very heavy emphasis on on balancing. Or, 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 there's a very heavy emphasis on balancing this level. So, it's important to have board skill points in balance. Like, for making it easier. So, anyway. Not spinning this out too long. Uh, let's take a look at Park Run now, which is much further down the level. I don't like this drop point very much because, well, we actually go back here for Pro 1, but I don't like this drop point very much because it's basically Main Street, but from a different place. Okay, I did that wrong. It's, that, that isn't to say it isn't fun to play on, but it's still... That isn't to say it's not fun to play on, but it doesn't it doesn't feel very original. Like we we went down this path uh like in the very first episode when we were doing Main Street. But uh 
I wouldn't necessarily say it's bad to play on. I, I found myself on this level every now and then, because why not, you know? Anyway. I can't do a switch stance trick for the life of me, dude. Jeez. Let's try with here. Alright, well, I'll take the sketchy standing. Sketchy right now. Not gonna go that way, because we will go that way later. That was pretty good. It's basically just Main Street, but they deposit you in the half pipe rather than the. Uh, there we go. Big stylish trick there. So that's Park Run. There isn't much for that that level offers on its own, but there actually is a snow skate version of it, which does make the level a little bit, which does make the drop point a little bit more uh, unique. But it's not that interesting on its own. I don't really usually do Park Run when I'm just playing on my own, but there is one. Uh, drop point, which is absolutely incredible. This is the most... I mean, I know I've given Big Ridge a lot of props in New Zealand, but Cliff Run here is really in a class of its own because there's this combo opportunity here between um, between two tree branches and you'll see. If I can do it correctly, that is. I'll let it speak for itself again. Alright, 300,000 points from a single combo. And another 40,000 point switch dance trick. But that's that speaks to how incredible that... Uh, like, you just grind on one tree, grind on another tree, and take advantage of the fact that you can... You can spin and flip on top of rails without uh, crashing on them. Um, you can... You can spin and flip on top of rails without crashing, and use that to your advantage to take to to get a giant air trick before landing on that little cliff there, um, and that allows you to get a really giant combo if you can style everything. Um, my personal best for that, believe it or not, was 600,000 off of that combo. Like, I was able to get a perfect style, uh, off of the, uh, the first rail, and then off the second, off the second, uh, tree branch, I got, um, off the second tree branch, I grinded for about one second, and then I got, like, a 150,000 point trick. Uh, in the air, which allowed me to kind of bring the combo up to like 200,000 before the multiplier was activated. I love the media guys in this game. Gnarly wipeout, dude! Stop it. Maybe we could uh, stop it again. Bro, if, if, I, if we stomped three landings in a run at the very end, that would have been hilarious. But that's Cliff Run. It has... It begins absolutely amazingly, and it's worth it just for that first combo alone. Like, not to say I did badly on that, but just a regular run gives you like 300,000 points off of that combo. In one of my earlier test runs of this, I got like 500,000. I'm not even kidding. It's it's an insane combo combo location. So... Those are all of the free ride, free run drop points, all the drop points from Millicent Full. And now we get into the sponsors, which are very specific and in some cases difficult, uh, particularly for this one. This first sponsor is uh, Cliff Drops. It's actually, if you remember Sponsor 3 from Locks 1, that was a limited space sponsor. This is another limited space sponsor. One where you need to basically... And I've already screwed it up. Um, basically, the idea is there's four jumps, and you need to get, like, giant stylish tricks off of every single jump. If you miss any of them, you have to reset. So that's the first one. And the second one is off of this rock here. And 
That's the third one. The fourth one is off the is off the edge here. Obviously, I'm doing the same trick over and over again because, you know, there's no score decay in sponsors. So, the idea is to do all of those, like, jump one, jump two, jump three, jump four. You need to have a lot of style off of all of them. And if you get all of them right, you'll pass it. But if you miss one of them, you'll fail. So you have to restart and go to the beginning. But, as long as you know that that's the idea of it from the beginning, it's not hard at all. Just, just at least be prepared for it. So... Sponsor like what you said. Um, Corey from Smith gave you the Smith limo rail. Yeah, Corey. Okay, well, getting a nice limousine. That we're starting to feel like a a decked out pro rider here for for somebody who's a pro rider. We were we were just getting free stuff before. Now we're getting an expensive limo. That's kind of cool. Anyway, sponsor two. This one. Um, this guy likes tweaked rails, and what he means by that is not the, the sort of rails I do. It's it's the sort of rails... Yeah. I actually, actually deliberately make him uncool for a sec. The type of ra rails that I do are non-tweaked spinning. Which, uh, he's not gonna like at all. Because the, you're not tweaking the rail out, you're just doing regular stance rails, but just spinning in a clockwise direction. So, what he wants is for is to just not spin. Well, you can spin on a tweaked rail, but it's very difficult. So for me, the best way that I do it is by, uh, is by um, just holding only the trigger down rather than holding B, because that way I can engage in a tweaked rail like that. It's the bag lady. Um, that's an overcook if you press up on the left thumbstick, which can screw your balance up if you don't do it properly, but, um, and then we can go press down, which is a salad. Um, I never do these because it's just very hard. Like, if you, if you commit to doing, like, a, a different, uh, sort of, if you commit to doing a different, uh, sort of grind, it will... Like, you need to use the left thumbstick for it, and that can kind of screw your balance up. It will bias it towards a certain direction if you don't have it perfectly upward and whatnot. Let's just... Okay, that guy's gonna be a little bit meh. Okay. That helps. That ensures that we're amped enough to make it to the last rail here. So now we'll be fine. There we go. Got it. First... Well, not first try, but... So the idea is, is to do, is to do a, like, don't spin, but do, but hold the triggers down, you should be fine. That's a tweaked rail. Um, there's several different types of tweaks. Uh, you can hold a direction as you start grinding, and that gets you into a different thing, like a nose slide or a tail slide. Those, as I've said, are a little bit harder because... I tend to keep pressing the, the thumbstick in that direction, which leads the balance to the worst, balance to worst direction, which is why I don't usually do these types of rails, but this is what the guy likes, so. Anyway. Pat, the eye bridges gave you a lifetime of snowboarder. You might as well just be an employee of snowboarder after being featured in the magazine and now getting a lifetime subscription to this kind of cool. Anyway. Videos, not going to look at those. Uh, sponsor 3. This is, without a doubt, the worst sponsor in the game. Because he likes lip tricks, but they're, like, it's very hard to, uh, it's very hard to go slow enough for a lip trick in on this mountain. Uh, in fact, let's try and do this one with it. There's a no stall. The entry point is about 2,000. He, he's nothing too crazy in terms of, like, actual tricking. If you want, you can get all the way up to 10,000, which I think is the ceiling for lip tricks. But anyway, if you want my advice, and I learned this from Insetic when he was doing his speedruns of this game, you don't need to bother with any of these rails if you want to do any, like, uh, if you want to do any uh, lip tricks for yourself. I'm, I'm just doing it just because, but, like, the most efficient way of doing this, actually, is to race to the bottom. 
is to race to the bottom of the level and do all of them on a single rail. Because the property, the physics of that rail are such that uh, you will basically, the physics of that rail are such that you can uh, pass the entire challenge by just constantly jumping on and jumping off the rail. Uh, Alright, so he's up to nice, which is good. And this is the rail in question. So, that. so right down. There we go. No score decay, so it's just the same thing. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, God. I might have to restart this, actually. Okay, actually, no. We could make it. We could still make it. One more. There we go. Just, and this is, and now you see why. Oh God, oh God, oh God. What? Oh, I've never had that happen before. I accidentally buttered at the very end of the challenge. Okay. That's frustrating. Well, anyway, you did kind of see the point of it um, already. So no need to look at it again. So we'll be right back. All right. Well, consider that basically just a glitch. That's the first time I've ever seen a sponsor um, get to amped. That's the first time I've ever seen a sponsor get to amped. Um, I, like get to amped, and st I still fail to make it because I accidentally buttered. Anyway, that's sponsor three. It's pretty lame because you don't. You're barely. You're barely doing tricks at any any of like where you're dropped. You're not doing anything. You just need to do it all at the very end. Um, and now... And now we get to the the challenges that are very difficult. We like As I said with Photoshoot 3 in New Zealand, I might skip Photoshoot 3 here because it is extremely hard and I don't think I have the big air stats required for it. Um, at least not right now. And I could redistribute them accordingly once I get more board skill points, but we only have six, so there's not much we can do about that. Photoshoot 1, though, is not that bad, but it can trip you up. It's it's this long grind we saw from the Millie drop point, and uh, the idea is to just grind the dam for as long as possible. And uh, this is why we want uh, a really high balance stat. And actually, it's a little bit easier to get off to get off of the rail uh, to get off the rail, get back on it, so that you don't run the risk of losing balance in the middle of your grind. Uh, and then it's passable mostly. But the important thing is to just fight against the first jump. The first jump is gonna is going to point you away from the dam. Make sure you're uh, moving to the left so that you can kind of like actively fight against where it's trying to, to, to take you. So go go to the left so that you, you have a chance of landing on the dam. So anyway, that was not a terrible photo shoot. It's always pretty doable with your first run. And it's much easier if you do two separate smaller grinds rather than one big one, especially depending on how fast you're doing the grind. Um, Photoshoot 2 is a snow skate one. If you remember Photoshoot 1 from Mount Hood, this is a little bit similar to that, except it's kind of bigger, so just sit back and watch. Uh, there we go. 100,000 when the requirement is 40,000, and we got it. First try. That was good. So the idea of that one is to do a grind, and then... Let's look at the replay, actually, because I kind of want to analyze it a little bit more. Sick, that'll finish off reporting. Lame! Right, look at the replay. So the idea here is to get onto this first rail... Um, and then kick flip. I personally do a butter onto this rail to make the point requirement more guaranteed. 
and also do a jump off of that rail, do a kickflip, and just another kick, and just just grind another kickflip. It's not too hard. They expect you to do another grind on here, but you don't need to. You just need to kind of just ride on the rings, and you'll make it. Um, I'm making that sound a little easier than it is. Um, the first time you play it, you're probably going to need to restart a few times. But uh, as long as you know combos and you know snow skates, this one's pretty doable. So that's good. Um, and then we go from that challenge to what is probably, for me at least, the hardest challenge in the entire game. This is Photoshoot 3, and I'm going to showcase this for a little bit before we move to Pro 1 in case I, I can't make it. The idea is to do what we did in Cliff, the very beginning of Cliff Run, uh, and then land on that, which I don't think I actually have the air for. So I'm actually going to put all of my board stats into big air to show you what the idea of that first thing is. Um, so we have basically maxed out big air for this. Um, but that's the highest that the big air stat can go. Um, if I had any more board skill points, it would have forced me to put them in somewhere else. But let's go back into Millicent to show that challenge once more. So. This one's kind of difficult because, okay, first of all, spin to ensure that you have a bigger combo. And also the reason why I don't do spinning grinds here is because it becomes much harder to land on that second tree branch uh, otherwise. And the problem is that, like, you need to jump off of that rail as soon as you land on it. And you also need to make sure that the balance, the balance bias is to the right so that you can land on the tiny little uh, cliff that you see over there, that the one that I missed the red rings with. You're supposed to jump, like, be able to land... Because if your bal balance is biased in the wrong direction, it's going to... It's impossible to recover from it. And the reason why I find it so difficult is because... Um, you don't have enough time to correct your... To put your balance in the right direction for that uh, jump onto the, the, the cliff. Um, or the jump onto the pathway, I guess. The, the snowboard pathway. Um, which, I mean, once... If you do land on that pathway, there's nothing more you need to do. You'll have a 90,000... A 50,000 point combo... You just gotta jump onto the, the second jump there, and you'll be done. There are successful attempts of this challenge shown in other playthroughs. I would recommend stuff like Gaddy and Tom Gaming in Static 47. They've shown successful attempts of this photo shoot, if you want to take a look at those. Uh, I'll link that in the description, probably. Um, but for now, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna pursue this one, because again, we don't absolutely need to do the third photoshoot challenge, because we only need the board skill points from the Pro 2. Pro 3 is only unlocking the bio video of the Pro that you beat, which isn't very important to the game. Um, so we're going to do a different run, and let's redistribute our balance, our, our board skill points, and you can see why we wanted our uh, board skill points to be in balance, at least, for this level, because there's so many balance, balance-oriented challenges in this mountain, which means that, like, if you let, leave the balance stat neglected at any point in your career, Millicent becomes pretty painful. Um, and the, wor the worst thing about that challenge is, we're not even done with this thing, we're actually gonna come back to it in Pro 2, but... For now, let's do Pro 1, which is actually not too bad. Let's go ride! This is Bjorn Linus. I kind of like him, actually. Double front and flip. Uh, and then a simple grind Sick, uh, with a really slow spin rate will get that one passed. And then this one also needs style. Um, 
Even a sketchy landing should pass it, though, which is good. Um, and then basic co double cork for this one, because it's a green. Uh, and then grind on this one. Definitely need to style this one. Okay. That was not amazing, actually. Wait, if I can pass this by buttering, that would be hilarious. Oh my god! I can't believe you landed that! I can't believe I did it either. And then there's a giant combo oh, we need to do on that one, which... We can just skip for now, because it's not the most important thing ever. And there's another grind here. Uh, let's just ride this one all the way through, because why not? Uh... These challenges aren't too difficult. And there's the last trick, which is actually pretty big. They expect you to do a giant stylish trick off of this jump. Uh, which is not too difficult to pass, as long as you have a good grasp of style. It's not, it's not hard. I agree. It was sick. But yeah, first one try on that pro, not, not the worst thing ever. Um... And now that we've reached uh, only three levels left, we only have three tweaks left to unlock, and they're all in the Indie Grab. Let's briefly show off the Crooked Indie if we can, actually. Um, because the grab that I use in Switch Stance is the Indie Grab. It's directly opposite to the Stalefish Grab. And up to this point, we haven't had any ways of tweaking it out. Until now! That's the Crooked Indie for you. It's holding, you know, down right in switch stance uh, with the left trigger. Uh, obviously, I never really use the left trigger when it comes to tweaked grabs, so that one you're probably not going to see too often. But uh, there will be there will be other Indie grabs coming up later on in, in the game, which are more fun than that one. Anyway, Pro 2. This one... I feel like I've struggled with this one a lot in the past, but my trick from the free run of Cliff Run actually works well here. Okay, well, I didn't... The problem with that is that you need to... Anyway... I also jumped a little too early there, which hey, is the problem. You're alone. Let's go up. This challenge isn't that hard. Um, hey, come take a run with me. This challenge isn't that hard once you pass this first trick, but you do need to pass it because I, mean, like, I personally find that I need to pass it. And that is that sounds more like no 150,000 jumps, right? And then there's a giant little, like... There's a giant uh, jump up there that I don't really want to deal with. Just want to go off to the side. Uh, just get this one done. It kind of takes you down the cliff run path. And I sketchy landing to that, which is kind of annoying. Uh, and there's a super easy grind one. Which, let's just do it. And he expects you to combo here, like, for a long time, but I've found that if you just butter up to this rail, it's, uh, not that difficult. Um, I get the, I've gotten this one every single time. Okay. This last one is also kind of annoying because... It's a pretty tall rail. And I lost. I missed the last trip. So... Yeah. This pro is not that difficult, it's just that the last, the last trick is kind of annoying. Um, $280,000. And we fell off the cliff, so we're gonna miss both of those, but that's not too bad, because everything else after that is pretty doable. Good. Amazing! You want to have to hold it? Okay. I can't believe you landed that! Amazing! You want to have to hold it? 
Oh, okay. That's frustrating. Anyway, um, I think you kind of get the gist of that pro. Um, I'll probably cut out the rest of my attempts if this one doesn't work. Okay, yeah, it is. I'm gonna have to come back for this one. You've kind of seen the entire pro at this point. So that is Pro 2. It's, it's, I feel like it is definitely pretty hard, but there are ways to make it easier, such as the, the grinding on top of the, of the tree branch there to make that a little bit easier. Jumping off to the left uh, to not have to bother with landing on the really precise uh, jump there. And not bothering with that really easy green. Um, getting, uh, getting that jump there. We earned two skill points. These are going to go into balance, because obviously this is a very balance-heavy level. We want to improve our balance after having done so many grinds. Uh, let's put these into Ollie again. And uh, I think the last trick is very difficult, because the, the, the rail you need to get onto is very tall. Um... The rail you need to get onto is very tall, so um, you gotta make sure you spin onto it, do a little bit of style off of it, and then do another tiny spin to get like the combo up to like five or six tricks. So to get the combo to five tricks, uh, it's it's very important because that way you'll get like a three times and get the point requirement just about high enough for what it's worth. Um, it's kind of tough, and that's why I've, I I wanted to not like record and waste too much time showing it. But anyway, that was Millicent. Um, there was another snow skate run. Skip photo shoot three because it would take far too long to beat it. Uh, and those are all the challenges that we've been able to accomplish. It was, it's definitely the hardest level yet. Um, but the level the it, the hardest mountain yet. But the mountain itself is pretty fun to ride on. The the higher drop points, like Millie and Cliffron, are super cool. There's tons of different ways to go tricking, tons of different lines to take. There's some lines I haven't even shown, but we'll be able to see them a little bit later in the game. Um, uh, and that was Mount Millicent, uh, but bigger this time. Um, thank you guys for watching this. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like or a comment or feel subscribe if you feel so inclined. Or, or subscribe if you feel so inclined. Um, next episode, we will be going to the Event 3 level, back to Bear Mountain for another event level. And we will be going back and doing the Pro 3 challenges, which we haven't yet unlocked, as you can see here. So anyway, that will be it for now. And uh, see you guys next time.